Welcome to this video where I'm going to show you my latest Raspberry Pi Pimeroni project, which is a cryptocurrency um, indicator. Now, if you follow any of the cryptocurrency or you do any of your mining, you'll know that the value of the coins changes quite rapidly, uh, especially over the last couple of weeks um, towards the back end of December 2021. And um, often I'd find myself online searching up conversions of Ethereum to uh, pounds, great, uh, great British pounds or sterling, pound sterling, or I'd be looking up Bitcoin to the exchange rate for um, pound sterling. And uh, that's quite annoying when you try and do work and it's quite a, a distraction. I uh, came up then with the simple project that I would create using the Displayotron hat from Pimeroni, a display. And it displays me the current values of Ethereum and Bitcoin. So let's have a look at it in action. So the first thing I get is welcome to the crypto tracker, gives me the current date and the time. And then the button on the right is Bitcoin. Uh, oh no, sorry, Ethereum. And you can see that the current Ethereum value is £3,046.59. Uh, press the middle button, returns back. And the, the left hand button then is the Bitcoin. So the Bitcoin value is currently £38,292. So it's gone down quite a bit because uh, when I was creating this in November, the Bitcoin value to um, Great British Pounds was worth 49,000. Now, if I press this button again, it will check for the value of Bitcoin. And then if it's gone up in value, it will display the value increase and also it goes green. So you can see the screen is now green and it says plus 13. So the value of uh, the Bitcoin conversion to pounds has now gone up by 13 pence. Press it again. This kind of just shows you how volatile the uh, the values are. So orange is the value hasn't changed. So it stayed the same value. And this works the same for Ethereum. So uh, it's gone up five pounds. It's 30, sorry, 3,051 pounds and 39 pence. If I search again. You can see that it's the same value. So it's orange, which means the value hasn't uh, changed. And I built these in because uh, these colors into the program, because um, if I'm working, um, what I can do is quickly go, OK, let's check the Bitcoin value. And I can see it's gone up by six pounds. Um, if it suddenly goes up by 100 or so or 1000 or, or more, then obviously I know to sell or to buy uh, various different cryptocurrencies or exchange or swap them. So if I do it again, you can see it stayed at the same value. So a nice little way of checking, a um, nice little way of tracking the currencies and uh, the values. Uh, this is running on Raspberry Pi 4 and this as I said is the Pimeroni Displayatron hat. Um, it's got some other touch sensitive buttons on it. It's also got the GPIO pins and a set of LEDs here. Uh, it's a really, really nice little piece of kit. Yeah, it's a really nice piece of kit. So if you are interested um, or want to know more about it, I'll put the link down in the description below. So let's have another check. Uh, now, it's lost value now. So I don't know if you can see that. Let's try and get a bit closer. But the value now has actually dropped by six pounds. So this is a drop now. Um, and the Bitcoin is not worth as much. You realize how volatile the values of the cryptocurrencies are. You know, within a few seconds or a minute or two, the values have dropped. Um, Ethereum has also dropped minus two pounds, not as much, but it's, uh, it, it's dropping and the value isn't as high as it was a minute ago. So that's the, um, that's the display. Um, I'll give you a quick overview of the 
code if that is of interest to you. If not, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget and to like and subscribe and uh, keep track of future projects. Thanks again. Here's the code then. As you can see, uh, it's using the Pimeroni library to run the display tron and we import that at the top. And then there's a simple function there to create an animation, um, the rainbow animation that you see when it's searching for the different um, Bitcoin and Ethereum values. Um, this is purely an animation to um, add to the aesthetic of the project. It doesn't actually search. Um, and I've, I've added this in to, as I said, to improve the aesthetic of how the, the program works. So all this here is, is creating the rainbow hue. Um, then we have the display, welcome to the crypto tracker. That's the bit that you get in the middle. So that's your first setup there. And um, when you press the left hand button, it's uh, running the hue animation of the rainbow. So if I bring this up and press the left hand mouse, sorry, left hand button, you can see it's running the hue, the rainbow. Oh, Bitcoin's gone down now by 36 pounds. So even in that minute or two, the value's dropped. Um, I'm using Coindesk API to pull down the value into a JSON file and then editing that, pulling out the value here. You can see, a uh, good thing about this is I don't need to be signed in. I don't need to um, have any passwords. I'm just literally pulling down the, uh, the, the data. Uh, convert it between integers and floats because obviously the, the values are um, strings if I want to display them on the screen, but they're floats and integers with the values. Um, it's a bit of maths in there to, to convert them so I can display them. And then just write that data to the screen. Um, increase the, this is, now this is checking that the value has gone up. So if, for example, when the search is conducted and the Bitcoin value is increased, then this is where it holds the comparison here. Uh, simple conditionals, if statements to compare, and then change the screen display to green or red, depending on if the value's gone up. Then we've got the same for um, Ethereum. Um, now I couldn't find an Ethereum value for uh, Great British Pounds, so I had to use dollars and then convert that um, but that, uh, that was the one build you had to build into it. And then obviously you've got the middle button again to display the welcome. If you're interested in the code and you want to try it yourself, uh, I will load the link into the description below. Don't forget to check it out. It's a GitHub file and obviously that's the location that I'll keep up to date. So thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Um, if you are crypto mining, then obviously uh, keep me updated. Uh, I can always try and add and search and find some different coin values, and add them to this. Uh, Ethereum's gone down by five pounds. Let's see what's happened with, oh, Bitcoin has stayed the same. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.